So in the previous video, we were able to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. Now in today's video, we are going to prove by contradiction that the square root of 3 is also irrational. Now let's do this together. Now to prove that the square root of 3 is irrational, first of all, we are going to assume that the square root of 3 is rational. Okay, so we are basically going to assume that the square root of 3 is rational. So we assume that the square root of 3 is rational. Now, if the square root of 3 is assumed to be rational, then it follows that it can be expressed as a fraction in the form a over b where the value of b is not equal to 0 and then a and b are all integers. Now the next thing also is to assume we are going to assume that the fraction a over b is irreducible the fraction a over b is irreducible now by irreducible we mean that the fraction a over b is already in the simplified form and thus a and b are co-prime numbers okay so a and b they are co-prime numbers now what this primarily means is that the only factor or the only common factor between a and b is 1. So aside from 1, there isn't any common factor between a and b. Now let's continue with the rest of the solution. So we have the square root of 3 equals a over b. Now let's square both sides of the equation. So that we have 3 equals a square divided by b square. And then we cross multiply and then we have 3b square equals a square. Now let's call this equation 1. Now at this point you realize that we have 3 times a certain integer value b square and that is equal to a square so 3 times a certain integer value b square is equal to a square tells us that 3 is a factor of a square because 3 times a certain value is equal to a square so by this we can deduce that 3 is a factor 3 is a factor of a square. Now, if 3 is a factor of a square, then it also means that a square is a multiple. A square is a multiple of 3. Now, let's explain this with an example. Now, let's assume that we have a square to be equal to 36 so we are going to assume that a squared is equal to 36 now if a squared is equal to 36 then from equation 1 it means that 3 times a certain integer value b squared is equal to 36 and then we know that 3 times 12 is equal to 36 so here we have b squared to be equal to 12 Okay, but the interest is to just to know that 3 times a certain integer value is equal to 36. So 3 is a factor of 36. And then if you want to write down the multiples of 3, you realize that we have multiples of 3. We have 3 equals 3, 6, 9, 12, through 2, 30. 33 
36 and so on and so forth here you realize that 36 is a multiple of 3 so if 3 is a factor of a square which is 36 then it also means that 36 is a multiple of 3 so that is exactly what we have here 3 is a factor of a square and for that matter a square is a multiple of 3 now if we are saying that a square is a multiple of 3 then by theorem by theorem a is also a multiple of 3 if a square is a multiple of 3 then a is also a multiple of 3 now we can use this same example that is a square is equal to 36 and for that matter we have a to be equal to 6 so if a square which is 36 is a multiple of 3 a which is equal to 6 is also a multiple of 3 and by this we can see that 3 is a factor of a now we are going to come back to this so we have 3 is a factor of a square and for that matter a square is a multiple of 3 here also we have a is a multiple of 3 and for that matter 3 is a factor of a So now if we are saying that 3 is a factor of a, then it means that 3 times a certain value, let's call that value c, is equal to a. So 3 is a factor of a means that 3 times a certain integer value c is equal to a. Now let's put this into equation 1. So from equation 1, we have 3b square is equal to a square now in place of a we have 3c so that becomes 3c all square and then we expand this to have 9c square now let's divide through by 3 and then we have b square equals 9 divided by 3 is 3 so 3 c square and you realize that we have something similar to what we had for equation 1 now what this primarily means is that 3 times a certain integer value say c square is equal to b square so it means that 3 is a factor of b square now if 3 is a factor of b square like in this case then it means that b square is a multiple of 3 and then by theorem we can say that b is also a multiple of 3 and hence 3 is a factor of b so we can say that 3 is a factor of b and this is where we have our contradiction because initially we assumed that the fraction a over b was irreducible which means that the fraction was already in the simplified form hence a and b were co-prime numbers and thus the common factor between a and b was 1 however here we realize that 3 is a factor of a and 3 is also a factor of b which means that this fraction is reducible and hence a and b are not co-prime numbers therefore we say that square root of 3 is irrational and hence cannot be expressed in the form of fraction that is in the form a over b 
Now we can as well use this same solution process to show that the square root of a prime number is irrational.